Hi guys, welcome back. I'm back with another video. If you're new here, my name is Melissa Crafter and I create custom epoxy free tumblers along with other crafts. In this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how I added this design here to the Starbucks cup. To add this design, I use Tech Wraps Diagonal Rainbow Stripes Vinyl. So if that is something that you're interested in, please continue watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask down in the comment section. Also, if you have any video suggestions for me, also drop that in the comment section. And thank you guys so much for watching. Really quick, I want to show you guys where I got the design from. Here I am on Cricut Design Space on a new canvas. And I'm going to go ahead and go on Etsy. That's where I purchased my SVG. The shop name is Safari BKK. And I did purchase it for $2.59. And then I went ahead and downloaded it to my computer and uploaded it on to Cricut Design Space. Now here we are back on Cricut Design Space. And I'm going to upload my design onto my canvas here. The design already comes pre-sized to fit the Starbucks code cup, but I am going to go ahead and edit it up a little bit since I am going to be using specific vinyl colors. So I want the wording and the lollipop hearts to cut out together since I am going to be using the tech wrap vinyl on those. So I'm going to detach the sucker part from the lollipop sticks. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and insert a circle. I'm then going to unlock it and cover the word sucker with a circle. Once it's covered, I'm going to select both of them, make sure that they are both selected and click slice down at the bottom. That's going to separate the word sucker from the lollipop sticks. And then I'm going to delete the rest of the circle. Now that I have that the way I want, I'm going to go ahead and hide the word sucker. And then I'm going to make these lollipop sticks into white since that's the color that I want them. Then I'll go ahead and hide the lollipop sticks and I'm going to unhide the word sucker um, and then I'm going to unhide the lollipop hearts along with the rest of the wording that comes with the design. I'm going to make sure that they are all selected and I'm going to click weld down at the bottom right hand corner and then this is all going to be one cut here and I'm just going to turn it into pink. This part is what I'm going to be cutting out using the tech wrap vinyl. Then I'm going to hide that for now and I'm going to unhide the black hearts along with the other black part of this design. And I'm going to weld those two pieces together that way they can cut on one cut. Making sure that they are both selected, I'm going to click on the right hand corner and click weld and that's going to make this one cut. Now that I have this design how I want, I'm going to unhide the rest of the pieces. They did show up on the back, so I'm going to here send them to the front and then click make it on the right hand corner. So these are Tech Wraps Diagonal Rainbow Stripe Vinyls. In this video, I did only use the third one that you see here, which is called Lyserin Purple but they are all absolutely beautiful. I do have a discount code with TechWrap. You can use promo code MelissaCrafter10 at checkout for 10% off of your order. I'll go ahead and link their website down in the video description, and I'll also put my discount code there as well. I love TechWrap Vinyl. It's my go-to vinyl for all of my crafting projects, so definitely check them out. They have a large variety of different types of vinyls as well as different accessories like weeding tools and cutting mats. Their website will be linked down below, so make sure you check them out. So here I am loading my vinyl onto my mat. Here I'm using my Tech Wrap Standard Tack cutting mat. You want to make sure that you are aligning your mat according to your mat on Cricut Design Space. That way your design is cutting within your vinyl. 
Now that I have my mat loaded, I'm gonna go and put it on my Cricut Explore Air 2 to have my machine cut out my design. So here's my Cricut Explore Air 2 cutting out the first piece to my design. This is going to be a three piece layered decal. So here I'm cutting the first part out. Here I'm gonna load my mat with my black vinyl, that way I can cut the black part of my decal. For the black and white vinyl, I did use the vinyl cut setting on my Cricut. Then again, here is my Cricut Explore Air 2 cutting out this part of my decal. And last, I'll load my tech wrap vinyl on my mat, that way I can cut out this last piece of my decal. And here is my machine cutting out this last piece. For this tech wrap vinyl, I did put my Cricut cut setting on custom and I do have it on glittered vinyl cut setting with the pressure on the blade on more since this vinyl is pretty thick. Now that I have my full decal cut out, I'm going to weed out my design. I'm going to be weeding it out using my tech wrap weeding pen. This one here is the Pink Scales Weeding Pen. It has a sharp stainless steel tip that allows precise weeding down to the smallest detail. I'll go ahead and link it down below in the video description as well as everything else that I use in this video. Here are some of the other tech wrap um, tools that they have on their website. So using my weeding pen, I'm gonna go in and begin weeding out my design. I am going to speed up the video here up a little bit since this did take a little bit long to weed out. So here I am weeding out the white part of my decal. And last, I'm weeding out the black part of my decal. Now that I have my full decal weeded out, I'm going to add some transfer tape so that I can begin layering my decal. I'm first going to add my transfer tape onto the part with my tech wrap vinyl. Using my scraper tool, my squeegee from tech wrap, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that is well on there on my decal. And I'm also going to go ahead and press on the back part of my decal here. And then I'm going to remove the backing from my vinyl. To layer my decal, I'm going to be using some parchment paper. I'm placing my parchment paper down on top of my bottom layer, then placing my top layer on top, leaving a little bit exposed on the left side. Your vinyl will not stick to the parchment paper. You can move it around until you have the right placement. You'll be able to see through the parchment paper. Once you find the right spot, the right placement, you can go ahead and begin pulling out the parchment paper and using your scraper tool, you can go ahead and um, adhere that together. Then I'm gonna use the same parchment paper to layer the black part onto my decal. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna place my parchment paper down on top of my bottom layer and then place my top layer on top and leave a little bit exposed on the left hand side and then line it up. Once I have it aligned, I'm gonna go ahead and attach it and begin pulling out the parchment paper and using my scraper tool, 
I'm going to go ahead and make sure that's adhered on together. I accidentally pulled two of the hearts out with the parchment paper, but that's fine. I'll add them later on when I have the decal on my cup. So here is my cup that I'm going to be using for this design. This is a Starbucks cold cup and you can purchase this at any Starbucks location for $3 and it does include the straw and the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my Starbucks cup using a alcohol prep pad just to get any fingerprints off just so that I can have a clean surface to work with. Now that my cup is dry, I'm gonna place my decal on my cup. Using my squeegee, I'm going to press down on my cup to make sure that my design is well adhered onto my cup. Here I'm going all the way around with my squeegee, making sure that this is well adhered to my cup. Once I do that, I'm going to begin removing my transfer tape from my cup. Here I'm adding in the two extra hearts that I accidentally lost earlier. Now that I have my full decal on my cup, I'm going to hit it with my heat gun to make sure that my decal is well adhered onto my cup. So here's how my cup turned out. It turned out super cute. I love how this vinyl brings in kind of like an ombre effect of three different colors and it also has some shimmer. That is it for this video you guys. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. As always if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask down in the comment section. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is melissacrafter00. Thank you guys all so much for watching.